Morning, ladies. Good Thursday morning everyone. Welcome back to the Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Today we literally got up before the chickens. It's uh, July 5th, day after uh, Independence Day. Had a nice uh, evening last night looking at the fireworks. Uh, this morning, going to uh, give you a quick tour on the garden. It's not doing real well. We got started kind of late on the garden. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this here, uh, these doors on this cold frame. Uh, it's one reason I got up really early. I wanted to be able to work on this uh, in the shade over there uh, before it got really hot. So uh, hopefully I can get that knocked out before it gets too hot. And uh, let's take a quick look at the garden. Okay. Got us some sunflowers going here. Sunflowers are about the only thing that's doing really good. And you can't eat those really, I guess. I guess you can eat the seeds, but not much vegetable going on there. And there's a couple of artichokes. Uh, I'm not sure if these are cucumbers or squash here, but these seem to be doing pretty good. We need to get us a uh, trellis up there for them. And there's some more, that's cucumbers or squash, one or the other. I'm not sure which. Those seem to be doing fairly well. Got some little herbs here. And we got some corn going here. It seemed to come up pretty well in the middle and germinate well, but the rest of it didn't do so good. But uh, got a few healthy plants going there, so we may get some corn. The tomatoes are about all burned up, so... I don't think they got even water and we're still not sure on this soil if it's uh, nitrate content and all of that. So it's 50-50 compost and topsoil. It's pretty rich looking stuff. The uh, pepper plants, a couple of them have just totally died out. Uh, those aren't looking too bad this morning right there. But the ones over there. There was some uh, an orange bell pepper plant that's basically gone right there. And there's a darker bell pepper there and banana peppers there. So that's the best I've seen those pepper plants looking in a long time. Usually when I see them, it's after the heat of the day. Got some green beans that, uh, no, they ain't going to do anything. And I believe these are squash here. Couple of those. Some beets, not doing so well. More green beans. And then we got another row of whatever that is. Cucumbers or squash. And then a few more right there. And sunflowers. The uh, little climbing whatever that is is starting to take off and climb up zinnias so back out front here uh, one of these is a passion flower I believe and it's going to climb up this up here and the zinnias not many of them came up there's a few of them in there there's one and I think she said that was alyssum. Look like the seeds kind of washed down towards the edge. Anyway, so the garden looks good except for all the plants. <laughs> Everything else seems to be doing okay. So what I'm gonna work on today is this cold frame. The doors 
on it just totally fell apart so what happened was when we built the garden I had to take down the supports that hold the doors up and when we did that they flopped over backwards and busted up so they're made out of one buys and that plexiglass goes down in between the one buys there's a little groove in there so I'm going to change up the way I do it this year or this time I got two by fours and I'm going to use a dado blade and cut my groove with that and frame it up that way kind of like a picture frame and hopefully that'll be a little bit more sturdy I know it'll be heavier and we'll see how that'll do and uh, I may not get them mounted on there because she's got those uh, whatever those are in there but uh going to get started on that and see how far we get before it gets too hot chickens are kind of confused because i opened the big door instead of waiting until their automatic door goes up <laughs> let me in they usually don't come out till uh 9 30 a.m is what i have it set for i think let the uh all the hawks and the predators the coyotes and the bobcats go to bed before the chicken door opens and i'm off at work by that time and then it automatically closes i have it set now for 9 30 but i can go ahead and back it up a little bit because it is getting dark a little earlier This is a DeWalt table saw portable stand. It's supposed to be universal. I got it a couple months ago and I just put it together last week. And this old craftsman saw, it's from the early 90s, I believe. So it did not fit these uh, arms here, this uh, groove right here was not long enough on one of these ends. I had to build these adapter plates to fit this saw. So it's universal for everything but this old craftsman table saw. Anyway, that works pretty good, I like that. That way I can uh, roll my saw in out of the weather. I've been keeping it under this carport here outside and it's been getting moisture on it and it's got a little bit of rust on it. So anyway, I gave it a good coat of WD-40 before I put it away.
quick we're going to do a, a thickness test for the groove make sure the plexiglass fits in there good I was going to use a dado blade and just do one cut to make this groove but my dado blade starts out at a quarter inch unless I just used one half of it and a 1 16th uh, blade that has the four teeth and I was afraid ripping something this long with just those four teeth blade without the thick dado blade on each side supporting it it might just turn that tooth sideways so I opted to do two cuts uh, about a blade width and I think it's about right yeah I got plenty of room to spare so you can kind of see how that's going to fit okay now me and Sparky are gonna try these for fit come here Sparky come here you think it's gonna fit huh This is live action, folks. So far, so good. Got us about an inch clearance on both of these sides. like it's gonna fit well I don't have any room to spare right there I tried to get myself a eighth of an inch slack on each side in case my cuts weren't perfect So I'm going to see if I can get this strap around this thing and ratchet it down. Okay, got tight bond 3 interior exterior wood glue. If you notice my shadow back here, it's getting shorter, working against time when uh, the shadow gets up here I will stop I'm not gonna work in the Sun because I'm a wimp Look like Stony Ridge Farmer here in a minute. Okay, moment of truth.
Yeah, it's snugged it up good. Have to be careful on this one not to split the wood. Boom. That's solid too. Okay. I'm gonna do the rest of these. Same way. Yeah, that's nice and rigid. That's a lot better than the ones that I made with the one buys, for sure. So there it is. Pretty solid. One down, two to go. Well, folks, we got it done. Just a little bit of sunlight here in my face. Sparky was a big help. Yes, you were a big help. Got all three of them done. I think they were actually easier to do this way than with the uh, sandwiched one buys. I think I spent less time doing this, and they're a lot more rigid. So, uh, Maybe this evening I'll go down there and try and get them mounted. i uh, still got all the hardware and hinges and the handles and everything. And uh, that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Hope it wasn't too long. Try and keep them, uh, you know, fairly interesting. So we'll catch you on the next one. Take care and subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you. What happened? Wah, wah. Must have drilled it crooked. Dang gum. It's because I said something bad about Stony Ridge Farmer. That's what it was.